Hey everyone, welcome to The Decorative Den. My name's Charity and I'm so happy you're here. The Decorative Den is a look inside my craft room and today I have for you a flip through of my spring setup for my A5 disc bound planner. So this is my main planner that I use. I keep it at home, um, it sits on the desk in my craft room, usually open so I can refer to it throughout the week. So I just finished setting it up for spring and I thought it would be fun to pop on here and share with you what I have going on in this planner. So if that interests you, uh, just keep watching. Okay, so starting with the outside of my planner, um, like I said, this is an A5 disc bound planner and the cover I have is from the Office Collection by Martha Stewart. Um, I believe that you can only get this collection at Staples and this is her gray color, um, but really it's more of a, like a tan color as you can see, like an off-white tan. Um, and it is the junior size, so the A5 or half page size. And I changed out the original discs for this planner with metal or aluminum discs from Levenger. And so these are, um, you can kind of see, these are the one inch rose gold discs from Levenger. So that is kind of what's going on on the outside of my planner. And we will just open it up here so I can share with you my spring setup. This is kind of what you first see when you open it. And um, I really love just kind of this first glance because for spring, I really wanted lots of florals and pastel colors. And so um, I'll start over here with my pocket. And the first thing I have in here in the back of the pocket is a piece of paper from a Michaels paper pad and you'll see a common theme is I use a lot of paper from Michaels paper pads because they find that they're already themed and um, all of the pages go together. So that's just in the back. And I will say this setup um, is definitely mixed metals. So I have a lot of rose gold and gold going on and I really love how the two work together in this setup. The other thing I have in this front pocket is this sticker sheet from Toffee Bananas and this was just a spring like deco sampler that she sent in one of the orders as a freebie. And so I keep that in the back here just as a little extra decoration and I felt like the colors went really well with this setup. In addition to having this larger pocket, the um, Martha Stewart planners do have three little slots on the pocket where um, I think she would intend you to put business cards or something like that. But up here I just keep a few little decorative items. So in the back slot I keep this little clip. This is a planner clip from the Pink Room Co. Um, it is a freebie that came with a washi order I got from her. And again I thought the colors went really well with my setup. In the next slot, I have a die cut, and this is a die cut I made from one of the Michaels paper pads. So again, it has that really pretty uh, gold foil terrarium image, and I just cut that out to form my die cut. And then in the very front slot, I keep another die cut, and this one is a little blushy character from Stinkin' Happy, and I think she is so cute, and I just keep her right here in the front of my own planner. So that's everything in the pocket. This clearly is a pocket that is really just decorative and not functional, um, but I try to keep my decorations kind of to a minimum in my front pocket. I find that if I add more than this, it starts to become just kind of bulky and annoying to flip open. Um, and so I think this is a nice balance of decorative but still functional. <laughs> but on the other side of my planner, I have my first dashboard, and this dashboard has a freebie printable from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, and so this was a freebie available in the Facebook group. I just printed and cut that out and centered it on a piece of paper that had kind of a wood grain pattern to it, and then I added these decorative strips of paper with leaves on them to kind of add a little green to this dashboard. 
So on the back side of that dashboard, I have probably one of my favorite um, like paper combos here. And it is a picture of me and my husband on our wedding day. And I have that on this pretty blush pink paper um, that has this rose gold like geometric pattern. And then a little quote here that says, love keeps growing. That is from the paper pad. And then um, as a decorative element, I just added this bow tab from Planner Press. So uh, these are one of her, I think she calls them her large bow tabs and they are in rose gold. And you would use these to kind of add to like the side or top of your planner to mark out your various sections. Um, but I just folded this tab over on itself and used it as a decorative element on this dashboard and I really love how that turned out. And so this first section is my annual section. So this is where I keep anything that has to do with the entire year. And so the first thing I have is this goals sheet. Um, and so I keep like a written out log of my goals on my computer that is more thorough. But here I just keep in my planner this like decorative, visual, um, one page look or overview of my goals to keep me on track. So the next thing I have is my year at a glance insert. And this insert is from PT Paper Printables. Um, this is the only insert I have from that shop, but I do like it a lot. And it actually came as part of her yearly calendar bundle. And that comes with calendars for both 2019 and 2020, as well as some additional notes and planning pages. Um, but in my A5 planner, I just have the 2019 year at a glance for right now. And I do, don't do any decorating with this one. Um, it's really just meant to be a reference for me. The only real decoration I do on this insert is you'll see on both the front and back, I do just put a strip of washi. And this is part of the Cabin Collection by Pink Room Co. with the rose gold foil bows. So that's really pretty. Um, but that is everything in my annual section. And so then that brings me to the next section, which is my monthly section. And I am so proud of this dashboard because this front um, frame with the uh, geometrical terrariums and flowers is actually not part of the dashboard. And I'm just so proud of myself for how this came out because I cut this out with an X-Acto knife and then I laminated this little paper frame. Um, so that way it would frame the quote on the next dashboard. And like I said, I absolutely love how that turned out because then I have my dashboard here that says all we have are these moments. And this is another um, quote card from a Michaels paper pad, but I absolutely love this quote and I thought it was so relevant to planning and the fact that um, my planner really is me just capturing moments of my life. And so um, in addition to using that paper quote card, I decorated it with some um, washi tape. So I have the five millimeter pink bow washi from Simply Gilded, a scalloped five millimeter washi from the Pink Room Co. And then this is the clear um, bow washi that Simply Watercolor Co. came out with. And so I just used those to add a little decorative foil element to this dashboard. And then on the back side of that, I just have a sheet of paper that came straight from one of those paper pads that again has that really cool geometric terrarium with some flowers. So like I said, this is my monthly section and the only insert I have in this section is the monthly 2019 calendar from Jessenia Printables. And so this insert comes in a variety of sizes. I have it of course in the A5 size. And I'll just open up to a blank page so you can see what that looks like. So this is May and I'll pop my bookmark out here. 
So this is a bookmark or page tab that I made, um, again, using those large rose gold tab dividers from Planner Press. And instead of adding these to my dashboard or to my inserts, um, I wanted them to be movable and reusable. So I just folded the tab over on itself and um, stuck it in a laminator pouch and then ran it through my machine and then cut it down to the size I needed. And so now I use these, like I said, um, just kind of as bookmarks or page tabs. And I have several throughout my planner marking various spots. Um, so I do keep one in my monthly section. But anyway, this is what the monthly insert looks like from Jesenia Printables. And I love that it's really straightforward, really simple. Um, and I can just show you, yeah, here's April. Um, so I'm not done planning April yet, but you can kind of see how I use these. So that's everything in the monthly section, which brings us to the next section of my planner, which is my weekly section. And so that starts with this really pretty piece of vellum. Um, this came from Michael's as well. Behind that on my dashboard, I have this really cute piece of paper from a Michael's paper pad. And on top of that, I layered a picture from Buddha Doodles. So it is a page by this artist who goes by Molly Cules, and um, she creates little daily doodles and pairs them with quotes that are very, I would say, um, inspiring, healing, um, very meditative, zen type quotes. And so I have a page a day calendar from her. And so every day I get a new doodle in this calendar. And so I save them and use them in my planner from time to time. And this one I thought was perfect for planning. And it says, there is no enlightenment outside of daily life. And again, my planner is really me just planning out and capturing my daily life. And so I thought that was a really appropriate quote for this section. On the back side, I have a dashboard that has some of those nice mixed metals going on. So this green piece in the back has that geometric pattern with rose gold foil. And then on top of that, I layered this really cute quote card that says refresh, relax, recharge. And that is in gold foil. Love that. And so then for my weekly insert, I have another insert from Jesenia Printables. Um, as you can probably tell, I really enjoy her inserts. And this is her A5 weekly small insert. And so here is an example of what that insert looks like without any writing or anything on it. Let me just move one of my bookmarks here. And so um, I love these inserts for weekly planning because it does have a sidebar area, which I mainly use as a decorative area because in addition to having a little column for each of the days, I love that this insert has a built-in top priorities, um, habit trackers, and then this um, dot grid box that is labeled with next week, but I'll show you how I end up using these inserts. Instead of using the dot grid as a next week section, I actually use this as a gratitude journal. And um, you can't see this week's box. I actually covered it um, just with a little note card that I attached a little blushy die cut to. Um, and I just have this paper clip here to cover it. Um, it is not always there. But I just have that there to kind of keep it private since my gratitude journal is something that is really private to me. But anyway, that is what my weekly section looks like. And I really love these inserts again from Jesenia Printables. That brings me to my next dashboard, which is my washi tape dashboard, or I should say, I really should put washi tape in quotes uh, because there is some washi on my washi dashboard, um, but there's also a lot of just paper strips. I kind of did a combination of decorative paper and washi um, to create this, but I really love it. And then the back side of that just has a quote card, again from Michaels, um, that in gold foil says, hello darling. And I just really love the look of that. I used some of the Pink Room Co. scalloped gold washi to decorate the edges of that card and just make it look a little more finished. 
So the first part of this section, this is my personal section, if I haven't said that yet. This is just kind of like where I throw all my random life-related papers that are not my monthly or weekly plans. So this first section is just where I keep swatches of my Tombow brush pens. So this first page is one that I switch out from time to time, but it's really just meant to be a piece of notebook paper for me to take brush pens like I did with these grays and just compare the shades to figure out which one I want to use. And then as I fill up the page, I take it out and replace it with a new one. But I have that kind of slightly attached um, to my actual chart where I keep track of all my Tombow brush pens. And so um, this is kind of a nice overview for me to keep track and try to stay organized when it comes to figuring out what I have in terms of these brush pens. The next section is a section I don't always use, um, but I will use when I am doing a lot of purchasing all at once. Um, and so this is my open order sheet. As I receive them, I just kind of cross them off with a light gray Tombow brush pen. And like I said, I don't use this all the time, um, but I do use it from time to time when I wanna keep track of things. So behind that, I have another insert from Jasenia Printables, and this is her double section lists insert. And I have the one in pink, so normally these boxes here, actually, let me show you a blank one. Um, so normally these boxes are in a light pink color, but I just printed mine out in black and white. Um, and I like these lists better than just the notebook paper that came with the planner because I can make them very specific to different aspects of my life. And so um, if I need to make a shopping list or like here I'm trying to keep a log of things we need for the house. And so I'll just create kind of random lists that have to do with various aspects of life in here. So that brings me to the next section, um, and this section is my section for the decorative den. And um, so this section starts with this really awesome piece of acetate that again is from Michaels, and it is just a clear piece of acetate with this white script writing. Behind that, I have on this dashboard another um, picture from Buddha Doodles uh, by Molecules. And this one I absolutely love with the little snail, again, very garden themed. Um, and it says, sometimes it's okay to go slow. And I specifically picked this one for my decorative den um, dashboard because I am the kind of person who is constantly thinking of creative projects and plans and I definitely get ahead of myself with the dreaming um, <laughs> or starting a million projects at once and never finishing any of them so that's just a good reminder for me um, but I attached this uh, image to a beautiful piece of paper from one of those spring paper pads and then um, I just put two strips of the five millimeter simply gilded bow washi because again I thought that was just like a really nice little touch to bring in some extra color there and on the back side of that dashboard I have another mixed metals uh, dashboard in the back that blush pink paper with the rose gold geometric pattern um, some green leaves and then the quote card says coffee and sunshine and it has a picture of a cup of coffee um, and I really love that so in this section the main insert I have is another monthly insert from Jasenia printables but this one is her monthly two-page layout so let me find here, let me find a blank one for you. Here we go, June is blank. <laughs> um, so this is what the inserts look like. And again, these boxes are pink. I just printed mine in black and white. And I really love these inserts because it has, you know, this nice calendar to keep track of things on and then um, various areas to list things. So I'll show you how I use these. Again, let me move this little 
bookmark here. What I do is I kind of write some goals at the top for myself that month and then I section out um, my different list areas. So for March I had this is my YouTube list with various ideas of things that I could post to YouTube um, and then once I actually create a video I put a heart sticker there and then I mark what day that was posted on the calendar. And then down here um, I've been using these to just track my Instagram posts because unlike the rest of the world, I am really terrible at social media. I am not the type of person who just like takes pictures and posts on a whim. And so I really need to be thoughtful with my posting. And so I've been using this to kind of keep track by week um, of when I post and what I post. And then you can see um, each week, so this is week one, corresponds to a different part of the calendar. And so that's just kind of what I've been doing in here. But anyway, behind that insert, the other thing I have in this section is this page, which is a social media tracker that I just made um, on one of the sheets of notebook paper that came with the planner. And then the last thing in this section is, again, more of those uh, bow checklists. And I just leave these in here so that um, as I come up with different things, I can just jot down some ideas. Okay, and then the last part of my planner is just where I keep extra notebook paper and things like that. And so this starts with this pretty piece of vellum that has um, like a marble pattern to it almost. So I just have that layered on top of a piece of paper um, and this is the same paper that's in that front pocket that I have. Um, I really love this one, just the gold terrariums. And then on the back side, I have a journaling card that came with one of my orders from Toffee Bananas. And it just says, hello spring with this like beautiful um, planter box. And then like I said, this section just has extra lists and notebook paper. So I have some more of my bow lists as well as some notebook paper. And then the last thing in my planner is just um, this pocket. So this is a pocket that came with the planner. And in here I just have a piece of sparkly rose gold paper. And sometimes if I'm taking this planner like traveling with me or if I'm in the middle of working on a spread, I will use this area to just stick extra sticker sheets that I'm using for that spread. Um, but right now it's empty. And then on the back side, for really no reason at all, other than I love this, I have this little um, wine drinking squirrel. And I like to say this is my spirit animal. Um, but this is actually the front of a greeting card or like a birthday card that I just cut out and I keep in the back of this planner regardless of whatever my setup is just because it makes me smile, this little squirrel with his wine bottle. <laughs> And then that's pretty much it. In my pen loop, I just keep a Sharpie pen. This is the pen I use exclusively in my planner. Um, I really enjoy like felt tip pens and markers. And so that is what I like to use to plan and write in my planner with. And then the back does have the elastic band um, that you saw in the beginning. Just snaps around the cover and keeps all of my pages together. But yeah, that's it for this video and for my spring setup in my A5 disc bound planner. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit the like button for me so I know um, and I will make other videos like this in the future. And um, just in general, thank you so much for being here with me today and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.